Okay, what we have here is a movement that needs complete rebuild. It's going to be one of the most complete rebuilds I've ever done. This is a cast uh, brass one. It's an old one. Uh, unique is the uh, little bridges that are here for the uh, making up the pivot points on the for the anchor. Uh, I guess those are supposed to be rabbits. Never seen anything quite like that one. That's very interesting. A rabbit there. And then the front there's another rabbit here. And a screw goes in where the eye is supposed to be. But uh, what I mean by needing a lot of work is basically every single pivot is going to have to be rebushed. I'm only starting with the main wheel. You can see that moving. If you look at this one, look at this one. I can see that one. That one. And when we get up to the this one, that one too, that just rattles around. Um, strike side, same thing on the back. But the uh, main wheel and if we look at uh, this one here, see the... Okay. And then we look at this one. Let's see. That's one of the worst. And this is a perfect example of what tunneling is. If you look at the hole from the outside, the hole looks like it's perfectly round. That's because the pivot doesn't extend beyond the uh, the plate or even beyond the pivot hole. So it's worn on the inside and put like a groove. It's kind of made like a tunnel in there. Uh, so those need to be replaced. Now I'm not sure about the these up here, the anchor. Oh yeah, those are badly worn. So we've got uh, two more. Going to have to be rebushed if we look at that bunny rabbit again. And I move it. Look at that. See that pivot? Moving around inside. Okay. We look here. So now that's not the half of it. Um, when we look down through the top, I haven't taken us apart yet. But when we start looking in here, let's see if I can scoot in this way. You look at the uh, look at the trundles on that uh, lantern pinion. They're worn more than halfway through. It's a wonder why some of them didn't break long ago. That one, all the trundles in that are going to have to be replaced. Looking over here, uh, you can see that there are trundles that are worn here. Those are going to have to be replaced. Trundles in that one, that lantern pinion down there, are all going to have to be replaced. Uh, basically, when I look at it, every lantern pinion is going to have to have all the trundles replaced in it. 
this one's going to definitely take some time. Uh, we'll start by tearing it down, cleaning everything, but then we it's just going to take a lot, a lot of time to redo this. This movement is in the worst shape of any that I've ever seen of this type. And we take a look at uh, that's supposed to be a spring. It's not working. I don't know who made up those wires. But that is one heck of a mess. So i got to make new springs. Um, and I hope the pallets aren't completely worn. Yeah, it looks looks shiny, but doesn't look like there's a groove. Uh, a little bit, yeah. Yeah, it's gonna have to be polished out. Have to do some messing around with the pallets then. A little unusual movement for this type. Normally the count wheel is held on with a nut in the middle. This is held on with some kind of a spring wire that's pushed over the top. That's very unusual. And the uh, normally, where if you look behind the count wheel, you'd see a brass uh, brass cam, and it's not immediately behind the count wheel. It's further in. It's kind of in the middle of the uh, arbor. Uh, definitely a different, a little bit different arrangement on this one. In addition, we're going to have some, we're going to have to rebuild these main wheels. Uh, it's badly worn. If that's not redone, that click, under a given circumstance, can fall down behind the uh, ratchet wheel causing the weight to fall drastically to the floor and tearing the living daylights out of everything. So that's going to have to be rebuilt. Uh, I have to wait and see what it has to have taken it apart. I may have to order. I just hope it's the same size hex brass that I got now. So I can fix it. I wonder if the other one's in the same shape. Yeah, the other one's the other one's pretty floppy and loose too, so and then we'll have to determine what the clicks look like once we get all this apart. So a total of 16 bushings are going to have to be put in this one. And every uh, lantern pinion rebuilt. So there's one, two, three, four, Five, it's like five lantern pinions I'm going to have to re-trundle. Re 